Yo guys, what's going on? It's Julian Unlocked here. Today we're going to be playing PKs on the ladder. It is newly buffed. We have Torn Scales off the Limit 3 list, so that enables you to run Limit 3s. We only have one Book of Eclipse on this account, so we're running one Book of Eclipse, one Crackdown, one Compulse. But uh, ideally you'd want to run like triple Book of Eclipse, and you'd want like triple Droplets in the list if you are going full like Pato in. We're running the Alchemist Magician package, which is pretty cool. Uh, you guys will see that here in just a second. And uh, yeah, the deck's pretty good. Uh, I think it's definitely coggable. Potentially, uh, potentially could do well in the next KC, we'll see. All you need for your combo is, of course, just one Phantom Knight. So with this, Silent Boots. You send the Torn Scales. Boots effect. We will grab up the Crank of Magic. Now your Torn Scales will come to the field. Uh, probably want to put in Defense, just in case they have like a Veil or something. So here's an interesting one, which one do I want to get rid of? Do I want to get rid of MST? If, if it's Raging Pendulum, I probably do want to get rid of MST just because it could be... Um, it could be the... Uh, pen call and MSC is going to be kind of useless versus pen call. So let's go and grab. You're going to grab the silent boots here. Special the silent boots. You'll bring out the break sword. Uh, skill here. Skill send the dark rebellion. We already have book of eclipse and Crackdown, so we really don't need anything else, per se. This one's a weird one, right? So I can rank up, pop, pop it, grab another rank up. Problem is I don't have a way to get the Phantom Knight from the grave because we only opened up boots. So I think I'm just going to set these two. Actually, wait, set this one. And then set this one. And then we'll hope for the best. <laughs> Realistically, as long as we survive the turn, which it is going to be pretty rough, versus this potentially. Okay, odd eyes. Scale 8 and a scale 4. Get someone in levels 5 to 7. I think we're, we've, we're fine with that. You might we are also in platinum, so that does have some things to do with the decks we're gonna be facing here. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go ahead and put the dragon pulp hit magician. No pen call, thankfully. Uh, Odd Eyes is another deck that did get a little bit of a buff with pen call. Oh my god, are they just playing full rank seven? That's kind of insane. One, two, Dragon Pit, Jean K. I mean, that's their whole board. Oh, I guess I get summon Oath. So here, I can pop one. Uh, so we'll go and go into the Requiem. Then we'll use a trap here. Popping the this thing. And I'm gonna book of clips. Because they literally can't do anything. They're gonna get a draw four here, but unless they're playing hand traps, it shouldn't matter too much to us. It's basically we have to find a way to finish him off this turn. Which I think we can do. Potentially, at least. Alright, this effect. 
We'll add the rank up to our hand. This will bring out the torn scales. Torn scales effects, I think he is probably fine. Send this to grave. We want as much damage as possible. I think like an econ, like if you didn't have like one of one econ, it would go so crazy. Alright, we'll bring out the boots. Now we bring out the break sword. Uh, break sword effect. Start time to start popping. Maybe I should have went after a monster over the scales, to be honest, but. Now we go this and this. We'll make Raider's Knight. Raider's Knight effect. Catch this. Summon our third break sword. This effect. Send this one off. Now we go this, pop, pop. Crazy thing is, like, we still have more and more plays. Now we can make Sen here. This should just be GG's. No way they run Kite Road, right? In odd eyes, I'd be kind of shocked. So I'll have a rank up here too for a pop next turn potentially if we need it. Alright, just wipe the whole board, why don't you? Alright, that's game one. Felt pretty good. Uh it was an interesting deck from them for sure. I don't know if uh so be nice. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It looks more free to play, for sure. But like, they had triple pen call, triple odd eyes, double oath. I guess they maybe maybe they just brick it's pretty hard. Do pens just lose that hard at Book of Eclipse as well? Also, also could be a potential way. Eh? All right, we're going second again. Or did we go first last time? We went first last time. Another pen deck. This could be Solfas, could be Magispectors, probably Magispectors. Magispectors would actually be pretty rough for us. Because they can't be targeted or destroyed, and that's what Breaksword loves to do. I yeah, hope you guys are all having a great day. So I did a community tab and I was asking about what you guys, do you guys like the current meta? Yes or no? And the results were literally 50-50 for this current meta. So it seems like you guys are very divided on the meta. Which is an interesting uh, take. I'm leading towards not liking the meta. But it's not the worst meta, I just don't like the stall parts of the meta, like birds and sh Shear's not really meta, it's just an annoying tech to face. Alright, boots. We'll add the... We already have one, but I guess we'll add the other rank up. I'm gonna send off... The wings here. Which enables me to send off. You know what? Why not? I already have. 
have the boots. What I like to do, I know this is a little weird, but like for the first summon of the break sword, if I'm not going to use the effect, I don't go into it. But if I do use the effect, I do like going into the noise break sword. Dun -dun -dun. It looks like it was Sulfur Cord. It looks like they just bricked. Which I mean, that could, that could mean there's like some hand traps or something down there. Um, I'm trying to think. Whatever, Dark Rebellion, sure. Finish you. Probably shouldn't have banished that one. Make a Requiem. Nope. Hulk effect. Give me the one with a thousand attacks. Normal you. This is at least a negate. In case they had like the ritual. So yeah, our second opponent didn't really do too much. So that's good for me. We'll take it. 2-0 oh on the day. Not bad. Once again, we are in platinum, so it's not gonna be the most insane decks, but. I think they just hard bricked with Sulfa Chords. Sulfa Chords aren't like that bad of a deck. Like they're always super annoying to face. But I'll take the win. Mm -hmm. All right, here's our rank up to Platinum Seven. LP boost A that usually like represents like a stall deck or something like that, like lava golems and things along those lines. Hopefully that's not the case here. It could also be like Altergeist, but I think Altergeist has like a skill now, so it's probably not that. Yep. What did I call it? I called it guess. Level area limit B. But that's I mean there's like I'm pretty sure there's like delay already. Luckily, we, we really don't care too much about um, back row and stuff. So let's go and send this. That's just going to be an insta scoop. Okay, not an insta scoop. So they're going to have a lot of um, back row, I think. Do this. Send the sword, which will allow us to send the wings. And normal you. Special this. Break sword. Wait, I'm level three. I don't even get. <laughs> Wait, the level doesn't. It literally doesn't affect me. But I'll pop you anyway. Just because... You know, because I guess it might do something. Literally the, probably the worst card versus me. I have a feeling of Lava Golems in my future, but... Not too much I can do about that. Only card I can banish is this. Oh, that's toxic. I probably should have sent another PK then. Alright. Oh, wait, they actually live this. It's fine, it's fine. 
We surely don't get Lava Golem shit. Yeah, sending uh, both traps there was a little bit of a throw. The only PK I could revive was the Rake Sword, so I should have sent... Um, Galaxy Cyclone, sure. Look at this one. It's a free rank up for me. I can even set the one from Grave. Yeah, set the one from Grave, why not? I mean, he just really did not have a good matchup here, to be honest. GG's. We we always just keep popping whatever they have. Like all the back where we could pop like infinitely. We even have MSTs as well. So that is plot seven. No oh, yeah. Classic LP boost alpha stall. All right, we'll do a few more duels. Going second, four game win streak. We haven't even like done the um, our play with the alchemist, uh, alchemic magician, just because we haven't gone first, and or we've gone first, but we've already opened up all our back row. <laughs> Oh boy. So this is raw. Raw is an interesting one. Kite Roid. That's, this is screaming Kite Roid galore to me right now. Alright, send. This one. This one. Alright, let's just go here. Make the break sword. Oh, maybe it's not Kyroid then. Alright, well, I'll go with you. You. Add the rank up. Maybe we're going to get second C's. I don't think so. Maybe it's worth... Yeah, it's fine. We'll grab you. This effect. I think sending... Book here is fine. Send this. The Dark Rebellion. I can banish one. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. So now, one card. Banish this one. Make Requiem. Then we'll go. Phantom Knight's Wings, bring out the Brick Sword. Set the Crackdown here, and we go Battle Phase. Man. 
I feel like platinum wasn't this easy before. But I don't know. That was something like we haven't been going versus the most crazy opponents for sure. Okay, we'll take the wins, we'll take the wins. Mm. Alright, going second again. We, I mean, hey, we keep going second, can't complain too much. Open up the MST. Automats got boosted as well, so this could be Automats. But yeah, I do want to do more videos on the channel instead of just videos and stream. So like, I'm going to be doing some video formats, probably with a bunch of different decks. So the first one's going to be PKs. We are doing the cog run with PKs as well currently on the Twitch, so if you guys are interested in that, make sure Twitch and YouTube, of course, check out the live streams if you don't want to miss those. I mean, sure. I guess they bricked. It was, in fact, just automats. Do we just see how high of a win streak we can get on this video? Just keep going until we lose, chat. Is that the goal? It might be. Video ends when I lose a game. <laughs> How long will the video go? Alright, MST. Pretty good. I think, like, our, like, decks that we could definitely lose to it's actually melodious. Would be like... Um... What decks would there be? Unchained would probably be rough. Rockets... Uh, going Lancia turn one on us would be rough as well. I haven't seen melodious in a minute. To be honest with you. Any other matchups? Alright, Bloom Diva, sure. Honestly, they probably should give Melodius some more support. Bloom Diva pass. I mean, Arc Rebellion deals with it. Send you off, send you off. You already have boots. So at this point I can grab the this one. You make two Xyz here, normal this. Special you. I have to change the level. Do I want to send anything here? I mean, there's no back row, so I could just send the MST or the crackdown. Probably the MST. Just to send a trap here. Build break sword. This time we skill. Now, now I'm in an interesting spot, so I need to get... I can get into Requiem. I want to get into Rebellion. So wait, wait, does, can I get, just get into Rebellion here? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I need this engraved, so uh, that's a bit awkward. Special, special. 
I mean, I could just do it this way, honestly. Break sword, break sword effect, hit this, this pops. I know it won't pop this, but it should be fine. We can go and create this and this. There's a rhyme and a reason to this chat. So we'll go Raiders Knight. Oh, but I'm the only thing that can attack, though. That's also true. Hmm. Wait, wait, hold, hold. I think I'm thinking. All right, so we'll make. Arc Rebellion here. Uh, hear me out. We got a 55. All right, we'll use Arc Rebellion effect. Detaching this. We're the only thing that can attack now, but all the effects are negated now. Uh, so now we'll go for the Silent Boots. Silent Boots can grab us the Rink of Magic launch. Rink of Magic launch can then go into the Requiem Exceeds. And then we can chain trap here. And trap. Hit pop. Now it's negated. And we just GG's. <laughs> I mean, we played that pretty well. I think that was pretty well. I mean, it was Bloom Diva past though, so it wasn't too much to play against, but. It did require some thinking, for sure. Shout out Melodious, haven't seen that deck in a minute. Mm. Alright, we're going first, finally. Seven game win streak. Opened up one PK. Could be versus some form of gimmick puppets. Silent Boots effect. Yeah, the rank of magic. So get us you. This effect. Send this. I'm saying I could send you now, I think. Yeah. We haven't used our normal summon yet either. So let's go and grab up the ragged gloves. Normal the gloves. So this is the alchemic. Magician play. Uh, we'll go break sword. Break sword effect. Send this off into the dark rebellion. And now we can use the wings. Let's bring the break sword. Now you use the Rink of Magic Quick Launch onto the Break Sword. Summon it, the Alchemist, Alchemic Magician. This is the Alchemic Magician play. Uh, you will chain the trap here, but don't forget to chain the trap. Pop the trap. Let's grab the Rink of Spell. Oh, we could send something. 
don't think there's anything before he is sending it. Now the question is, do we want to keep Book of Boon or MST? I think keep you have to keep one card in hand for the Alchemic Magician combo. I think I'm gonna keep the uh book here. So we'll set book. In phase, do not use that. Uh Alchemic Magician. Detach this, pitch this, set the Book of Eclipse. So now you have, as soon as they do something, oh, okay, it would have been nice to have the MST if it was overlay control. But we do have Book of Eclipse anyway. Uh, we will go ahead and use the Rank of Magic launch now. Banishing the Break Sword. Immediately going into the Rebellion. Or Requiem. The negate's important here. Uh, we can use Torn Scales as an extra body. You don't have to use the Torn Scales, of course. You can keep it in Grave if you really want. Trade in. Whoa, what is this guy cooking? Is he playing Gimmick Puppet Overlay Control? Form Puppet? Is he cooking, Jet? <laughs> I like the guy's name. Does he not have a single? No way, he doesn't have a single monster, right? Okay. That's fine. Banish. You're level 8 now. We're just going battle phase. Is that just like given up? Perform puppet. Was it summon? I'll negate that. Okay, all I have to do is deal with that back row, which. Silent Boots is a pretty good card to draw here, then. Could be a Book of Eclipse. Book of Eclipse would actually be pretty annoying, but it would be game-breaking. So draw into the Break Sword here. Break Sword. Pop. Pulse Mines! Oh my goodness, Pulse Mines actually toxic. Because everything I'm going to summon is going to go into defense. Until the end of the turn, if a monster is normal or special summon to your opponent's field, change the defense match. So actually, I can go ahead and do that. But uh, this will just get put in defense. Wait, but it doesn't matter if I just send. Okay. Cool. All spines effect. Or we can just win the game. So I'm fine with that. GG's. <laughs> Wedding through pulse buns. Book of Eclipse is kind of like pulse buns in a way. And they're gonna reach quit. Alright, we're still going. I guess, you know? Sure. LP boost X4, we've approached the legend rank. We'll put post that replay. 25 gems. Keep going and going till we lose, chat, till we lose. How long is this video gonna be? Could be 30 minutes, could be 40, 50. 
You never know. Sherry could end our career, though. They're on their rank-up match. Ooh, do we have outs to Fish Falcon? That's a real question. Do my skills send anything? Or does, no, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Send one monster for your hand or fill the grave, and then send one phantom. Okay, so I can just send it off with my skill. That's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Let's look around a Defloor Dogmatica variant. Kind of cool. Alright, so we're on Stellar Wind Wolf Freight. So an Avalon variant, okay. So an Avalon Dogmatic into Floor. Floor was one of the decks, or like one of the decks that I wouldn't have mind getting hit on the ban list. So it was Floor, Rockets, and um, Birds, of course, that I thought would be like my top three decks to nerf. I don't think any of them got- oh, obviously like Star Sears, but they got nerfed pretty hard. It was a little bit annoying though for like- because it's like the deck that people had free to play because they play- if they play the game for a while and have the deck, but I think it's still playable. Maybe that's what I try next is uh, post nerf Sun Avalon- or not, not post nerf Sun Avalon, post nerf Star Seraphs. For a video. Could be fun. Ooh, yeah, that looks kind of nice in the gold text. Links with gold text. Ooh, Book of Moon. Book of Moon's pretty good here. Let's start with MSTing this. It's a blizzard, okay. So now a book. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Book you. Send this. Send you to your raid. Definitely grabbing the boots here, so you can bounce back. I'm trying to figure out a way, or if there's a way to deal with a bounce. It depends, like, where they bounce me, of course. Send off. Uh, I think you could be valuable to have engraved. We'll see how it works out. I can get, uh, yeah, I think that that's probably the play. Okay, you're gonna do that. We have to be fine with it. Still delay here, which is kind of an interesting one. All right, we have to banish you. What is that delay then? It's a crow? No shot, you have crow. Send this. Oh, they have crow, it's over. Let's 
still one this is one spectrum, isn't it? Yeah, it's one spectrum. Or it could be Valor. No, it can't be Valor because there's delay. Blah. Alright. Maybe it's wait this is this is once per turn, right? Yeah, it's once per turn. I think I'd try and get the um the Veiler out here if it is a Veiler. I, I honestly have no idea what it is. Pop pop. We'll have to look after the game if we win. Of course, if it's... Still not crow. What could it be? It's gonna drive me crazy. Oh, is it... Do they have like a quick effect or something? Bring out the Aurora Dark Rebellion. This is lethal if it goes through. Okay, let it happen. I'm gonna grab the rank up here. This is 25. So I don't want to like... do more than I have to, you know? I'm gonna set these two. We're just gonna see what happens. Oh, dogmatic. Oh no, I kind of threw, didn't I? Wait, is that? No. Yeah, no. I don't think we need to. I don't think it matters. Does it? Nope. GGs. Oh, I saw Dogmatica early. I should have realized it was that, but we'll take it. I forgot. I forgot all about the Dogmatica part of the deck. <laughs> hey, the, the video continues. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> Forty plus minutes of gameplay for you guys. Mr. Spock. Ooh. Anime duel here. And I think our side loses the anime duel, so, uh. Oh, no. Well, I mean, we have Book of Clips. That's like our saving grace. But we desperately need a PK. That's like the one way that we lose. It will PK. If they MST or Book of Eclipse, it might be over. Speed Roid Tear Top. Alright, if they go double yo yo here. A nice book of eclipse for us. They'll probably go talk to Tom Borg. Acceleration. Yep. Normal summons. Alright, we have to book of eclipse on summon here. I could have just booked the Dendaiko instead of going Book of Eclipse. M might have been better. Alright, they're gonna draw three. Alright, we need a PK. Okay, that's not the best PK, but it is a PK. Probably the worst PK to do it, but we'll take it. Alright, 
far as I don't have any backer, that means there's gonna be like an insane amount of hand traps right now. <laughs> I don't think we want multiple. No, I need to send this, actually. Grab you. The crazy thing is I don't even have a zone. All right, break sword number one. That's the biggest defense, this thing. Alright, we're going, we're going. Into the Reader's Night. Do a second break sword. Do the Din Din Daiko. I need. Oh no, I need. No, I, I have it. It's fine. Alright, Dark Rebellion, go! The annoying thing here is I have my back rows clogged, so if they have a way to deal with that, I guess I could MST myself just to have the option. Set you up. Set you. All right. What did they? What did they ha like have in their hand? I guess they drew at the end phase, so they probably drew on their back row. It's just all monsters. Let's take a look at. We'll have to do a deck check here for sure. They had droplets, they had eclipse, they had lance. Just uh, unlucky draws from them, I guess. We got a little bit unlucky there, but luckily they didn't have MST for the Book of Eclipse. And if they did, we had a Book of Moon, so they'd have to have double lance. But yeah, Book of Eclipse is insane. Uh, and we only have one in the deck, chat. We only have one in the deck. Oh no, this is it. This is where we lose. If we go second, it's over. Okay, we go first. Also, it could just be Sky Strikers as well, not Rockets. Okay, it's Strikers, most likely. Okay, then. Wait, this actually. Is this the worst draw? This actually is the worst draw. <laughs> oh no. So I'm pretty sure. I can't banish this unless I have a PK. Let me read this again. I mean, yeah, I think it's just we do that. Set you. Set two more. 
we hope for the best. We need a PK chat, that's... This is the brick. Ooh, not, not particularly good start for us. Probably setting wings would be better here. Yeah, the double MSD. I think it's striker. Because then at least we can bring out if he can't. Yeah, it's wings set over a double MSD for sure. Oh boy. Engage off the top. And shark cannon as well. We might be cooked. Watch them ban it. Yo, the craziest thing would be if they banish the stain greaves. Oh, that would go insane. With shark cannon. Alright, grab some multi roll. Alright, it's gonna MST it right away. Because I don't think I can afford to let them send Area Zero. Then they get a ray off that. And then with skill, it's pretty GG's. Have engage again. And if they want a lethal, I think. Okay, they grab another multi roll. They don't get the draw yet, which is nice. This time I'll MSC that one. Kari, 19. Re grab the engage. Yep. Is there any way they can lethal me? Did, did they normal summon a ray or did they add a ray? I'm sure, they normaled it. Yeah, they normaled it. Widow Anchor, yep. Take a draw. This is going to be a miracle if we win this somehow. I don't see us doing it though. Hey, anything is possible though. Let's go. Okay, we, we drew into boots. Finally make some plays. They're just gonna wait for me to go into that, uh... Alright, I mean, it's... it's not terrible, I guess. Let it go through for some reason? You never know? Yeah, no. Smart. I guess that's the one downside of the deck, right, is just, if you don't draw a PK, or I guess like the only the one of this stain grease or is like the only one that's like doesn't let you do the combo. So yeah, stain as long as you don't have stain grease. I mean we might still have a wall of defense. They've already went through to engage. Afterburners. Didn't it pop one set? Oh.
go. Okay, they're not gonna pop the back row. If they're smart, maybe they pop their own. Crazy engage. Nice, nice. Grabs a shark cannon. Uh shark cannon's any card or no, it's a monster, but. Afterburners. You just sit here while they go to Hayate. The Dark Grays. I just let him kill me at this point, yeah. No reason to even activate it. Alright, so that is where the streak comes to an end. Where do we get to? I think it was like eight wins, maybe? Made some pretty, uh, pretty alright duels. Oh, what do we get? We unlocked something? For... Let's see what we unlocked. So I want to see how many wins we got here. We got... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wins. Not bad. Uh, we can do a little bit of a mini pack opening here as well. Yeah, so it just like just avoid opening stained greaves and open up any other PK. Because you need to be able to banish the PK. And then you have the alchemic combo. Five packs, please. How many how close am I to Windwitch on this account? Mm, not very close because I don't have any ice spell. <laughs> uh, but let's go over to special processing. Our Chronicle cards. What else did we unlock? We unlocked Damaged first! Oh wow. Somehow I unlocked Damaged <laughs> before I unlocked Sepia, okay. Which one, what does Damaged one look like? Hmm. Alright. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, look out for more videos like this. Uh, probably will try some other decks out along the way. And I'll see you guys then. Peace.